But it's also like, what are we telling more like her with the car kind of, are we implying that she is already in one of these cars that we see on the streets? No, and exactly. Maybe... Not at all. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the thing is that we, oh, well, the main thing is just like she's in her head, like we're sort of like going into the, the shot starts with her in her head, kind of. And then you're kind of pushing that noise away in her head. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like, I don't know why we can't just go with that, like, you know. Why are we making film? I uh, why are we making this film? Maybe one of the things that I think was kind of interesting was the idea of we met and we were having a lot of conversations about like what kinds of uh, writing that we wanted to do and uh, maybe something about the fact that this story was not any one person's story. Like it was, of course, a little bit of you having done global studies. Like you put in the hours. You went and did your master's in global studies in preparation for this movie. <laughs> so <lovely. laughs> but um, like, it was a bit of that. But it was also like a bits and pieces of like a story that I had written a little bit and that gave you an idea. So it was that ping pong of like an idea that I had and you built on that idea and then I put a little bit into it. And maybe that's why we kind of slowly got invested in this story. Like we have the relative subjects that's like pointing towards her. Okay. Like you see these leaves are like pointing towards her. When you go closer and closer, like you get to see, like you know, like you get to reveal the subject closer and closer. It, it will be a part of the subject, but then it shouldn't overpower, like her, it shouldn't cover her face and overpower the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, like uh, the way I look at it is like, if there's no right or wrong, mm -hmm. everything gives a particular choice. Exactly. Yeah. So everything has a particular effect. Having her hiding behind the bush gives the feeling of like she's in her element hiding there and the camera is sort of looking at her in her element kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So here now we've uh, issue moved the plant back. Mm -hmm. So now it's nothing is really blocking her face. So for in one sense, I feel like, yeah, sure, it's still a pretty shot, but it's a slightly different thing of like rather than her hiding behind the bushes. Now she's no longer hiding in the bushes. The bushes is just like a, it's a thing. Maybe I, I'm quite passionate about watching a lot of movies. I've been watching movies for quite a long time. I've really uh, been uh, in love with movies since I was maybe 15 or around even, even younger. So I've watched a lot. I had a lot of movies that I really looked up to and stuff and their style and writing. And through looking at them, I really felt like that must have been an amazing process of working with different ideas. Because you have a script itself and just writing a script, I thought was it was amazing. But then bringing that script to life is like another hat that you have to wear. And then I've done little bit of acting as well and some work there and then I felt like oh okay that's its own very distinct hat as well so I think it was exciting in that sense of like collaboration to like okay there's so many different expertise and so many different uh, things that you have to know a little bit about and a little bit of the constraints of each of the things like for example technique as well but mm -hmm. logistics I mean so much of the film is like logistics and planning and just yeah. organization <laughs> and problem solving and like uh, uh, you have this idea, but then you have to make compromises. And uh, and I think that's also a learning process that's been a bit new to uh, me, and I suppose both of us, that mm. you have this idea of, yeah, what you want to make, and then you got to compromise with it, but you go to places that you could not have gone alone. And mm. I think that's also a fun process um, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any opinion on it? Sure, I must say, we're running out of time. Are you ready? Would you like to explain what exactly we're doing? I think you're ready. Marketing. Marketing. We're doing marketing. Clara is really 
surrounded mm. by so many strong wills and people with uh, a lot of passion and strong personality and uh, she has really got stuck into trying to please all of them. When Clara is alone, she has a hard time knowing what she wants because she's usually so focused on the other people around her that she hasn't really learned to discover who she actually is and what her opinions are and her needs and emotions. and. Yeah, when she faced with decisions, she can really get stuck in decision anxiety. A people pleaser may seem like a really, you know, just a kind person who's there for others and like very harmless. But if you try to really understand a people pleaser, you realize that it's actually quite complex. And um, we find it interesting to make the people pleaser the main character of this story because uh, they're not usually the ones who are in the spotlight. When the people pleaser is surrounded by many different people who want different things, um, they get really into inner conflict and inner stress um, and they would try to mediate and create harmony in the group because fundamentally, they are really scared of conflict. Camera! Camera three rolling. Camera three rolling. Scene nine, slate two, take five. Refocusing. On the beam. Yeah, neither, neither of us have worked with people who are trying to be professional actors before this. I, I yeah. guess, I mean, in some sense, you have had a little bit of experience with, with people who are trying or coming, at least in school, acting school and stuff, yeah. right? Like in the last film yeah. uh, that you yeah. worked on. Um, so maybe a bit of experience. Uh, how was that like? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. that um, what, what is my feeling mm -hmm. that... Um, people maybe think that acting, like if someone hasn't acted before, some people think that acting is a bit more glamorous than it really is. Mm -hmm. um, so you can feel that when, when someone has the experience of being an actor that they are a little bit more prepared for, that it's mm. uh, hard work and it's <laughs> a lot of waiting for <laughs> everything to be ready. Mm. Uh, and then you have to do it directly, like you have to get into the feeling like I, yeah. I respect that so much. I think it's so hard to do that. Yeah, yeah for um, sure. And I, uh, yeah, so I think that's maybe something that that people are more prepared to when they have more experience acting and more also maybe a personal motivation of mm. doing it, like seeing uh, a, a meaning in it yeah. itself. Yeah. Like they're not doing it for you. They, they do it because they want to do that. I mean... For this project, I think it has been really good to work together and we have learned so much from each other and we've become really good friends as well, me and Nikhil, and we are um, really helping each other to grow. We had a lot of fun. We helped each other to, to, to remain like motivated. If you know that there's someone else who's also waiting for your part, to do your part, that also helps you to kind of stick to the project. And since we are both quite new in this role, I think it has been really good for us to be two and to be able to divide the tasks. Like there's so many people who want something from you. And it's really nice to not be the only one who knows, like who talks both to the actors and the camera and the crew. Like it's good to be two in this. And we have learned so much from each other. So I think, yeah, it was, it was really nice. You guys talking about me? <laughs> Dion, do <this> good. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>